Hi, Ruronis! This is your pal, Ruroni K95 here, and welcome to the 2021 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. So today we're going to be taking a look at the categories, especially movies and anime that were released in 2000, which we haven't done before until now. So let's dive right into this, today, on the Physical Media Video Library series. Welcome back. Okay, so today, even though I've already taken a look back at my previous, we already take a look on the category on movies, TV series, and anime that were released in 1999, which I think we finished on the 90s. So we're diving in with the 2000s because I have I don't have anything for TV shows that were released in 2000, but I do have seven of these movies that were released in 2000, mostly of them. But I do have a lot of anime that were released in 2000 that I have probably picked from my anime collection, which it'll definitely take the cake, though. So without any further ado, which is right here right now, let's dive into what we have. The first one I have is My Dog Skip with Frankie Muniz, Diane Lane, Luke Wilson, and Kevin Bacon. Yeah, I think I got this because this is probably my childhood favorite movie. Like, whenever I'm bored, I can watch a movie, that's why. But it's just how it is. And yeah, this has two audio commentaries on this DVD. It's probably in a snapper case, just to let you know. And, which I've shown you before in the previous videos that I did in the past. And the next one I have is The Perfect Storm with Mark Wahlberg and George Clooney. I had, I had to get this for like a dollar at a library book sale on here. And yeah, because... This has three behind-the-scenes documentaries, three feature-length filmmaker or author-craftsman commentaries on here. And this has the conceptual art gallery with director commentary, storyboard gallery, and much more on this DVD-based content. There's only 39 chapters on the chapter selections on this DVD as well. Yeah, because this is only like a dollar when I got this at a library book sale, I guess. Yep. But... It's, which, and then next on I have picked for my horror movie collection horror movie collection I picked was American Psycho with Christian Bale who is in the Dark Knight movies here I got this for like a dollar at a library book sale if you want to pause feel free to read on the back if you like as well this has the interview with Christian Bale featured on the making of American Psycho production notes cast and filmmakers and theatrical trailer for this movie Apparently, this has a Lionsgate logo on... You would expect seeing this on a Universal Home Entertainment release. Which probably what Universal Pictures and Lionsgate had a lot to do with. Here's what the disc, what it looks like. Yeah, that's what you see. I had to get this, because this was only like a dollar at a library book sale when I had to get this. And yes, this is presented in widescreen. Um, the next one I have is... Um, remember the Titans with which is directed by with this movie features Denzel Washington yes this DVD does have the two audio commentaries and this has the ABC special remember the Titans an inspirational journey behind the scenes and yeah I I think I've watched this movie every summer because I think I got this particularly like a dollar at a library book sale I mean I used to I mean, I used to borrow it from the library back then, but now I think I got this for like a dollar at a library book sale. So there you have it, because I had finally get to own this movie, because and here's the disc on here. Yeah, I think I saw, I remember seeing a poster for this movie probably at a video store back when I was a, during my childhood day, memories I have. Um, the next one I have is... Castaway with um, Tom Hanks. This is the Robert Zemeck's film. Yeah, I think I've watched this before because I think I really enjoyed it. What I think of this, I really enjoyed it because apparently this DVD does have the commentary by Robert Zemeck's and the crew on here. Yeah, because I had to get this as well. Well, because it's a very interesting movie I have. 
The next one I have is another childhood movie that I have is um, the Tigger movie because I think this is a pretty good movie because I thought this movie was pretty good. And yes, this has some of the, a lot of the extras on there on this DVD and all in the DVD based content. I got this a long time ago at Target. And the last one I have for the movies is The Emperor's New Groove. I got this at Best Buy back in 2004, I remembered. I mean, I used to have this on VHS, but now I got it on DVD. Because, you know, my Disney collection is starting to have a lack of shelf space because I'm starting to have a shelf full of anime. But it's just how it is, how the long story goes. And finally, to the anime, we have Argento Soma. This is the first... This is actually the first volume I got with has the all first five episodes on here. Yeah, because I think I finally got this one. And yes, this does have a reversible cover, what Argento Soma has. I might get the rest of the volumes of Argento Soma one of these days at one point, because I got this for like $8 at Nakaku. The next one I have is Blood the Last Vampire. It's from the creators that brought you, who brought you Ghost in the Shell. I had to get this at, a, at Half Price Books, because... I haven't seen, because I think I've seen this, because I think I really find this anime movie a masterpiece on here. And yes, this has the original Japanese trailers on here, and this has previews for other anime titles from Manga Video on here. And this has the making of Blood the Last Vampire on the DVD. It's probably good with the documentary when they made the anime. The next one I have is Series Celestial Legend Volume 3 I have. Here, because this has episodes four to six on here. Yeah, because it's probably from the same manga creator who brought you Fushigi Yugi, the mysterious play. I probably did an anime review on this a while back, ever since I finished watching the series on YouTube as well. Uh, this is also available on DVD from Discotheque Media, if you find, if you want to search for it on Amazon. I'm not too sure about it, but it's just how it is. The next one I have is the first volume of Descendants of Darkness. This is the first volume. This has the first five episodes on here. Three episodes on here. And this has DVD-ROM features on here. And yes, this is probably in a reversible cover as well. It's probably one of those, I guess you have to call, like, central anime, older anime titles from Central Park Media that were on DVD, VHS, and like Laserdisc back in the day. And of course, I got another volume of Descendants of Darkness because I got this for like eight dollars at Nakaku, which is probably in Japan Town in San Jose, California. Yeah, this does have episodes ten to thirteen on here. It, wow, it looks like I got another volume of Descendants of Darkness. Looks like I got two volumes. And the next one I have is Devadis Div Devadisi. This is probably one of like the OVAs that I probably I think I've watched this and then. I probably did an anime review on this because I know that others. Th some of them say it's like a ripoff to like Neon Genesis Evangelion, but that's just how it is. Even though I did an anime review on this, I had to take like a criticism on how I, I wanted to know about Devadisi. And also that I picked from my anime collection, we have a lot, a bunch of Inuyasha, which I was going to show you as well. Because I have three DVD volumes of Inuyasha. Because these were like bootlegs on here that I got at a, um, a game shop downstairs place there. Where they had DVDs there. Because these were like 25 bucks each. These were like $5 each when I first got those. Because I had to pay $25 for these. Oh, and also that. Because I have... Because I first showed you this three volume ones. And I have volumes 4, 5, 6, and 7. Because I have 7 volumes of the bootleg Inuyasha DVDs. Because apparently, like this volume right here I have. This does have episode. This basically has 126 episodes on here. And yes, it's probably dubbed in its original Japanese. But they put English and Chinese subtitles. It's probably what how bootleg anime DVDs are. And yeah... And I have some more Inuyasha DVDs from Viz Media. I have Volume 4 and 5 of Inuyasha, The Thunder Brothers, and Secret of the New Moon. These are basically episodes from the first season of Inuyasha. And I have Volume 35 of Inuyasha. I got this at Respute Music. This I got was from Amazon, but the other I got was from Half Price Books, which I've shown you. These are like three episodes per volume on the Inuyasha DVDs that I have. That's how Viz Media had a lot to do with before they released the season sets. 
And I have Inuyasha first season box set from, Vi from Viz Media. I got this at for like eleven dollars at probably at a thrift store. And I got Inuyasha season four because I got this at Streetlight Records, which I was going to show you as well. Because I probably I might get the rest of the the, the actual. Viz Media season sets of Inuyasha one of these days at one point, which I was going to tell you. And the next one I have to the assorted anime ways. I have the first volume of Love Hina. This is like dollar ninety five at Respected Music when I got this a while back as well. And I also have volume seven of Sayuki. This does come with a poster, a double sided poster as well. And I also have volume three of Sakura Wars. It's basically also known as. Sakura Tyson as well, in case you were wondering as well. And Street Fighter Al and Street Fighter Alpha the movie, another anime movie based on a video game, which is a lot more yeah, Street Fighter Alpha is alright in my opinion, but I do like Street Fighter 2, the animated movie, more because I mean I thought Street Fighter Alpha the movie was okay is good. Well, it's just how it is as well. Yeah, I th it's been a while. I think I got Street Fighter Alpha the movie on DVD at a yard sale for like a, a which is a while back as well. And the next one I have is Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust. Apparently this did got a Blu-ray release from not too many moods ago, but this does come in a DVD slip cover like this as well because I had to get this uh, because this is basically the best Vampire Hunter D anime movie that I loved because if you haven't seen it, give Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust a watch, because it's probably the follow-up to its predecessor that was released in 1985 on here. And I have some Yu-Gi-Oh! DVD, assorted DVDs of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters was released as an anime series in 2000. I have Yu-Gi-Oh! Grand Championship, Yu-Gi-Oh! Battle City Duels, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Waken Awakening the Dragons, A New Evil, because I... I got this at a thrift store as well, but the other, this one I got was at Respute Music, and the other I got was like a dollar at a library book sale as well, because I'm going to do it like the assorted D anime DVDs way I have, and that's all I have when I got for today. So that's going to be it for my video that is made possibly with the physical media video library series for today, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's my thoughts for this video. Even though I've been yesterday that I have in the past days where I did my... I probably my categories on movies, TV series, and anime that were released in 1999 which, that I picked from my collection all. That's probably finished on the 90s. So we're with the 2000s in the category because I have something for movies and anime that were released in 2000. I'm pretty sure it'll definitely take the cake though. Help subscribe for content. My anime plan link in the description down below. You, you can share this video on your Twitter and Facebook account on all of Facebook and Twitter and social media. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the like button on this video. If you like this video, be sure to feel free to leave in the comments in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RuRoniK95. Feel free to join my channel, especially if you're new to my channel. Hit the notifications bell and be sure to get notified as well. And that's all I got to say. And that's also Terrence Hill's 82nd birthday. So happy birthday to Terrence Hill. Because that didn't take very long. Because this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it and I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off and thank you for watching my video and I will see you soon for more videos.